awesome. like that and doing all your kind of yeah. all your stuff there. All right, uh, Jim Santor Show, Rock Castle, Nessie's Rock. We're doing something a little bit different here. We're doing a little video, doing a little audio here for the show. We're here at the M3 Festival here, Columbia, Maryland, and I'm sitting here with three of the greatest guys in rock right now. I feel Ooh. I feel privileged to be sitting on this couch right now. We got Doug Pinnock, Ty Tabor, and Jerry Gaskill here from Kings X. So, gentlemen. Welcome to the program. Thank you. Uh, and, and actually, it's the first time we've had Ty on the program now. And Jerry and Doug have been on the show here in the past, so I see you guys friends of the show. So i got to say um, something real quick. Go for it, Jerry. We both have a Danko shirt. We both have Danko Jones shirts. You know, I was trying to figure out what you were wearing back there, and I was like, yeah, so obviously we're big fans. And actually, that was what we were kind of talking offline. I actually saw you at Danko Jones, so, but I didn't. I said, that looks like Jerry Gaskell there. And I was like, and then afterwards, you know, Facebook says, oh, yeah, Jerry Gaskell's at the show. I was like, yeah, figure yourself. Is it bright enough to me? Do we need lights on? I don't know. Do you need lights? you got a light switch right behind you if you, if you need anything. So first off, uh, it's, it's great to meet all you guys in person because we always do the, you know, some of the Internet stuff and you don't get to see people face to face. But um, how's it going? Great performance, by the way. Uh, and one thing I'm going to always say is there's never enough time for King's X. King's X, in my opinion, should always have uh, a little more time on the clock. Thank you. That, but, uh, but, you know, you got to do what you got to do. But what's it like to kind of come out here and play? I mean, obviously you guys have played in the past. You've had different festivals and stuff you play. But what's it like playing with a lot of the bands that, you know, that you kind of were around with in the 80s and, and kind of doing this? Is it kind of like a reunion of sorts of kind of getting together with some of these guys? Or do you see some of these guys routinely uh, in your travels? Some, but no. Some both. Some yeah, of both. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, some of both. I love it just because like a family reunion, like you were saying. Yeah. yeah. I saw some people today that was kind of like a family reunion. Mm -hmm. yeah. Some decent now to walk by and say, hey, still Panther guys, you know. Even the Trickster guys Trickster. were. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We've mm -hmm. been we've known them forever. So. Oh, wow. Cool. Cool. Now, uh, when, uh, you know, when, when you kind of when you kind of do these things, and actually, one of the questions that I have, and obviously, uh, the stuff that's kind of going on over the years with like uh, Queens, right? For example, and uh, Great White. Of course, Jack Russell was was on here with his version of Great White. And you know, then there's bands like Kings X that have been the same lineup day one on. You know, for you know, as far as uh, you know, from the first record on. Uh, what do you attribute from you guys, in your opinion, of how you guys have been able to continue as the same band without guys? You know, kind of you know, going out on hiatus or just kind of dropping off the band. What, what do you kind of attribute that to as far as being a, a lineup, you know, for this long? It's a good question. <laughs> Jerry always says it's like a marriage. It is kind of like a marriage. And I think the fact that um, we have all been able to go out on kind of a hiatus and do our own thing mm -hmm. and then come back together has helped that. Yeah. Rather than being upset that somebody did that or whatever, yeah. I think it's all been good. Yeah, and it's always kind of cool. I mean, I, I know, I know, for uh, all of you have put out, um, you know, at least one solo record, if not more than that. So, um, I have you know, one. so it's kind of you, right? That's right, Jerry. You have, I'm you have on one, right and now. you are. That's right. When we talked before, you said you were working on another one. So, uh, and I think it's very cool that obviously, and, and obviously, it, it also, I guess, in a way, kind of gets some things to you. So you get to do your own things on the side, and then when you come back probably bring some other ideas to the table for when you want to get ready to do another King's X record, that kind of stuff. Is that kind of kind of how it kind of works? Uh, I know, Doug, you're always, you're pretty much writing all the time. Oops. The conversations we've had in the past, uh, I know I know you're always writing. I remember you told me one time that you, every song that you write for, oh no, sorry about that. this is so gross, y'all. Cut, cut, no. <laughs> Close up, close up. <laughs> I, do that, I do that to people, Doug, I apologize. No, I, sometimes I laugh. And yeah. But, congested, but well, really, like when, uh, so and I guess Ty also with with you know your solo stuff and, and Jerry as well. When you when you guys are writing, I mean, do you generally? And Doug had brought up a comment years ago. I forget which interview we did, but where when he writes a song, he's always writing a song for King's X, whether it actually gets used in King's X or his solo material. Um, you know, is you know whatever comes. I guess whatever project is there, but he always has a, has a thing where it's. You know, he's writing a song for King's X. You guys kind of feel the same when you're putting stuff together? Or, <laughs> and Jerry's shaking his head, no, I don't remember saying that. I, <laughs> I don't, I, you don't yeah, remember saying that? You said that. I always say I write for myself, and whoever wants the songs gets no, it. Gets the song. <laughs> that, that's exactly what I was about to say. I, I write for myself. 
Me and I general. have no idea where it's going to get used. Yeah. And yeah. don't worry about that at really? all. Don't even I'm think sorry, about I don't remember saying I'm, You know what, Doug? I'm going to go back and, and listen clear. to it. Then, yeah, I'm, yeah. then I'm going to come back and say, Doug, here's that, here's that clip. Okay. 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 All right. But I, 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 I would think that I remember. Oh, I, I know what I said. I what did you say? Go ahead. What did you say? Here we go. I said, I write all the time. And, and if whatever King's X doesn't use, I use it for whatever. Use it for whatever. Okay. Yes. So okay, we'll flip it. There. Okay. Yeah. That that's that's it's probably what I'm you said. Because basically saying. saying this is right. my top priority. That's why I try to tell <laughs> people go. when we do those kind of interviews. Right. Look, I'm not leaving the band. It's just I'm just doing this for fun. Right. right. Very cool. Very cool. I write all my songs for you. And you. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Very cool. That's beautiful. So Jerry. so um so obviously you guys are doing some stuff on the road. Ty was telling me a little bit about how you know how you guys are doing stuff on the road and kind of doing a few things here and then kind of back and forth you know and stuff and and uh, it sounds like it kind of works out great for everybody because you got you guys can still do some other things and then and go in there. But what's going to go on the rest of the summer and stuff? You guys got some any kind of big plans going on as far as the band goes uh, hitting the road or or anything like that? Well, we're we're in the we're at the beginning of a sort of tour right mm -hmm. now that will be going through at least late June. Mm -hmm. the, there are three shows in June right now, and they're probably going to add some California shows, hopefully. Okay. Maybe some Florida shows, hopefully. But we're we're going to try to hit some other regions and okay. uh, and do this thing where we fly out, you know, just do three shows and then fly back home. Mm -hmm. You know, in and out, like you say. Okay, no tour busing and all that. It just seems to be a lot easier for us to do it that way. Now. So I guess that's. I guess that you also kind of save some some costs that it way and stuff lot. like that. Yeah, a lot wear and tear on the road. I'm sure. Uh, for sure. It, um, may, it also makes it where you don't dread going out because yeah. You, yeah. you're not leaving for such a long time that you you know when you do that it is just tough to leave your home and all the yeah. things that mm -hmm. that don't get taken care of when you're touring that you have to come home to and fix later and, and mm -hmm. deal with and right so being out is extremely stressful for me usually when it's just non-stop yeah. this stuff like I said, we can be home two, two, three days a week go back right. out do shows and that's awesome yeah you know, I'm the total cool. opposite I hate this with a passion. <laughs> I do because because I, I'm a control freak. I like everything set, road truth, set lights, everything you know. On these things, you never know what you're gonna get. You gotta drag your equipment with you. Gotta get on a plane with two guitars, mm -hmm. three guitars, whatever. And just I don't like it at all, yeah. at all. But this is how we do it, and I ain't complaining. Yeah, Dem democratic we're trying, we're democratic trying, way. Trying. Is this, yeah, uh, you won't hear me complain. So, so. And here's the thing: is because we can make more money this way. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and that's I'm, why we do this. That's why yes. we do it. Now. Come here. Yeah. I understand. That's why we do it this way. Sorry, guys. Come with for some cups for the other side. Yeah. Go for it. Sorry. sorry Say hi to sorry. the camera too. Hi, camera. <laughs> Good to see you. Bye. Okay. Continue. Bye. Carry on. All right. Thanks a lot. Okay. Uh, the other question we have is obviously we, we, I went and. Uh, caught you guys live and I was glad that I did because you get a lot of running around here trying to do stuff with interviews and stuff like that. Um, one of the cool things I saw was the guys from Loudness yeah. came to the back and then I saw that they went to the other side of the stage and were sitting there kind of rocking out with you guys off to the side. What's it like? I mean, first of all, do you know those guys yeah, personally and then, and then, well, you know, what's it like to have other bands come in and kind of, you know, because they had just finished their set mm -hmm. and then you guys came on and then, they came from the uh, from the main stage and, and came over there. I mean, what's it like kind of having guys come over and check stuff out? For me, I just think it's so fucking cool when I turn into a ham. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, because yeah. a long, long time ago watching Woodstock and watching Jimmy Hendrix on stage and all the people hanging on the side of the stage watching, I always thought that was the coolest thing where people hung on the side of the stages. And I've always wished that there was a, a whole bunch of people sitting. I mean, 10, 15, 20, I'm sitting on the side. Yeah. So I can look at them and make faces and stuff. And, yeah. and I've, I've always loved that. And so whenever there's people hanging out, you know, if anybody wants to hang on the side of the stage, I go, come right. on over my side, man. Yeah. It's all go. good. Cool. It's just a different, you, it's just a different feeling, you know. Mm -hmm. Cool. And, uh, you know, it's, it's very cool. You guys also, uh, where a lot of bands kind of go, you guys kind of cover a little bit of everything from your from your, you know, your entire uh, CD history, uh, you know, uh, started off with, with a few songs from, uh, you know, from the '90s, and then going back to the stuff from the '80s, and, and it's a great mix, and, and it's and it's really cool that, you know, what I've always liked about King's X is that, you know, that that there's there's people that are in the hair band music are into it. There's people that are in, you know, if you like Pearl Jam and Soundgarden and Alice in Change. They're they're into it if they're in the Dream Theater and and, and kind of proggy type stuff. They're into it. Um, 
you know, King's X to me is one of those bands that kind of encompasses every everything. They're not just a, you guys are not just a one, you know, a one trick pony where you know you kind of do you know a whole pre-package. Every song's kind of the same and, and stuff like that. Um, and I think it's actually I know, you know, I've always kind of figured you know as great as you guys are, and we've had we had a conversation before about you know why do you think the band isn't as huge as you know? But I've seen over the years it seems like that. You know, there's more and more people like this. This, this, um, what's the uh, the word I'm looking for? It's that you know, you kind of have this this steady fan base that continues to come out the shows and support the band, and, and then you have a newer audience that continues to come in and, and check stuff out, and then you know they hear some of the newer stuff and then go back and then appreciate what you guys have done for the last you know 25 years and stuff. You know, for me, it's living out in LA, the, the, the funny thing. What I love about it is I'll go out to a club and I'll be standing there watching the band and you know every now and then somebody will come up and recognize me but usually somebody comes up who's never heard of King's X or anything and says dude all my friends are just freaking out on you who are you what, what's going on I go I'm Doug Pinnock what do you play with King's X oh, okay just walk away <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny <laughs> it's, it's um you know, uh, I guess my last question I have for you guys is, uh, you know, is there plans for another King's Rex, uh, King's X record down the road, or you know, any kind of discussion? I think there? as long as we're living, there'll be always be King's X records. We're um, we've actually been discussing, you know, preliminary ideas and plans of the next yeah. one while we're doing this trip. So cool. It's in the talks now. All right, awesome. I mean, we definitely look forward to to that. I'm sure all the fans that listen to this will definitely appreciate that as well because uh, you know, like I said uh, the last record you guys had uh, actually cracked the billboard chart if I remember correctly yeah. and it was like if I remember it was a big deal a big article about it like you know hey the band first time in 15 years the band had cracked the, cracked the chart so uh, definitely that was uh, obviously a big deal and hopefully the the next uh, King's X record whenever that's ready to come out and you know for the people to buy the day go out there and uh, you know more and more you know, uh, people uh, go out and dig the record. But uh, with that, too. I, uh, you know, I, I thank you guys for your time. I know you guys are busy getting ready to do some other stuff, hanging out with Steel Panther guys and all that kind of stuff. So uh, very cool there. You got some um, important stuff. You got some real important stuff, but uh, you know, they're hanging out with me. Drink. But uh, yeah. oh yeah, you got some got some stuff here. So uh, very cool. Uh, with that, we're going to go back to the music here, crank up a little King's X here as we are uh, continuing uh, M3 coverage here on SH Rock, Jim Santor Show, Rockcast. Where we're just a little. Off center. You guys want to do a little quick King's X promo for us? Sure. Who you are, or you know, or just hey, we're King's X, or whoever wants to do it. And Doug's the man. Doug's the man. Okay. Uh, what, what am I saying? Just say it? who you are in the band, mm -hmm. and uh, you're listening to uh, Jim Santora show. Oh yeah. Hey y'all, this is Doug from King's X, and there's Ty and Jerry, and <laughs> we're listening to watching. What am I supposed to be fucking saying? Oh. <laughs> Anything goes. You're you're listening. Anything you're goes. watching. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Sit, tell me the name of your show again. Man. It's the Jim Santorin oh. show. There you go. Hey everybody, you're listening to Jim Santorin, and this is Doug Penny from King's X. And did I say that right? Yeah, you're good. It's Jim Santori, Santorin, Santora. Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. Uh, may the groove be with you. We're we're King's X. We love you. 